Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm just going to be showing you guys my favorite makeup look. I was going to do like my everyday makeup look but it's kind of drab so I just want to show you guys my favorite go to makeup look for whenever I'm going out somewhere or to the club. So if you want to see how I get my everyday beat face or my you know favorite little go to look definitely continue watching. So for starters, my favorite moisturizer under my skin or like my primer, cause I really don't use a primer. So I would really like to use Cosmetic Lab by Lush. It's my favorite because it has lavender, wheatgrass and aloe to calm and hydrate your face. And whenever I shave or do anything, my face is always really red. So I love this the most. So I'm just gonna go in with some of this and apply this all over my face. So my Too Faced foundation, this is the Born This Way foundation, and I am the shade number, or the shade name Praline. So this is what I use. So I just like to go in on the back of my hand with some of this, and I like to apply it with a damp beauty blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that now. And with this foundation, I don't apply it any particular way. I just like literally just go ahead and work it in And be careful not to get no foundation on your laces because you don't want to make that lace too dark. That makeup and it's gonna start looking real wiggy. So be careful around the lace. If I can tell you like all the times, I done had clients get their makeup done after I do their hair and they'll get it on the lace. It's just a horror story for me. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing our concealer and my favorite concealers that I like to use under my eyes and like everywhere else is the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer and this is in the shade number 310 and then I like to use the MAC Studio Fix as well and this is in NC42. So I go in first with my NC42 and then I go in with my 310 to just lighten it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that now. And for my concealer, I like to use this one more. I don't know why, I just feel like it just works better with my face, so I'm gonna go ahead and start blending. For some reason, I don't know why, I feel like I really applied my frontal solo this time. It doesn't look so bad to me, but it kinda do at the same time. So just go ahead and blend that out. And now I'm gonna go in with the Pro Filter Foundation from Fenty. And like I said, I just like to use that to kind of brighten a little bit more. And I'm clearly like almost out of this. That's how you know I use it so much. I definitely need to go get some more. So now I'll just let that sit a little bit and I'm gonna go in with my sponge and start blending that out. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Pro Filter setting powder and just use that to set everywhere I just put my concealer. So now I can go in and start actually sculpting and contouring this face. So my favorite two things to, to contour and sculpt is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette. 
This is the 8H and then this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. And this obviously like falling apart. Literally falling apart. So now I'm just gonna go in first with these two colors. And I'm going to use an angled brush to sculpt out my face. I know y'all probably like, oh my gosh, that's too dark, but no, I definitely go back in and blend it out, sis. It's all about blending. And then I usually will go in and hit this forehead with like a little bit of something, but since it's already pretty small, because it is frontal, I really don't need to do much to the forehead. So let's jump right into snatching this nose. So my favorite brush to contour my nose is this little brush right here. And this is the E62 brush. I got this in the James Charles brush kit. And I'm gonna go in with these two colors again and just sculpt out my nose. And as you guys can see, I'm really just going up the side of my nose. Kind of to like right above like my eye area. And then once I get bottom to the bottom of my nose, I like to use it um, in this shape. Like upside down, I guess. I don't really know. So like the big part at the bottom and just kind of sweep it up. And then under my nose as well. To just make my nose feel really snatched. And then I like to go down the bridge of my nose with some setting powder again. With a little brush similar to this one, something really pointy where I can kind of be precise. Period. And now I'm gonna go in with my skin powder, I have to find it. I got so many MAC things here. I don't know why I got so many. Okay, so this is the one I will be using. This is clearly like damaged. I can't even see what number this is. It's like NC40 something, I think. And I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna be going along my contour line to just, you know, tone it down a little bit, calm down. And now I'm going to actually take this flat brush. And I don't know where I got this from. Oh, it's from BH Cosmetics. It just says three on here. So I'm guessing it's a number three brush. And I'm gonna go in and take some more of that powder and get like really get it on that brush. And just put like a line under my contour. And then I'm gonna go in with the setting powder and then do the same thing. This really helps cut that, you know, line in the cheek and make it look more defined and chiseled.
Oh, okay, you messed up my video. So now to kind of even further snatch this nose in, I'm just going to take this beauty blender again and dip it into my setting powder. And I'm just gonna put that right on the sides of my nose. My Morphe palette on my eyes. This is the 35O palette. And I'll just be dipping into this shade right here first and just sweeping that all across my eyes. And I just have like this little fluffy brush. This brush is from the Beauty Supply Store actually. It's a Diane brush, a D0018. Gets the job done. And I'm just literally like sweeping this all across my eye as a base. Now, I'm not really good with like all of the cut creasing and all that type of stuff. I stay in my own lane. Pretty easy enough. And then I'll go in and deepen that up with my contour palette again. And I'm going to be using this color right here. Same brush, literally. And as you guys can see, I'm doing a sweeping, like a sweeping back and forth motion, kind of like similar to the arch of my eyebrow is the shape that I'm following, as you guys can see. I kind of like, I really like all my eye, whatever I got like to be winged out. So I usually drag it like this up more, which you know, the wing, and then when I put like a little more concealer right there, it gives it a really snatched look. Really soft. I'm gonna go in and deepen it up just a little more. And I'll be using this shade. And this one right here. And I just do this more towards the outside, like I said, to further give myself that winged out look. And that's just pretty much the look, period. Now I'm gonna go ahead on off camera and do the other eye. I can't do them like one whole eye and then the other one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like do the shadow on this side and then I'll be right back. Before, before I do my liner, I'm gonna go in and just clean up my brows a little bit. And I'm just using this clear brow gel from Anastasia. This I got in like a little gift thingy from Sephora, I think. Where did I buy this? I don't remember. But like the nail shop needs to open back up because I really need my eyebrows arched. I really don't like care to do anything to my brows, but obviously they just looking a little bit unruly right now. And then I'm just gonna take some concealer MAC and just do a little dab of that right under my, on my right on my brow bone. my good brow y'all comment down below let me know which one is my good brow this one my right brow or my left brow let me know down below because i really don't know 
Sometimes I be like, is this brow done? Like, is this brow? Like, which brow is the good brow? Honestly, I need to know. So I can tell my nail lady that do my brows and everything, match it to this side. Cause sometimes they just don't be matching to me. Just like a little bit, nothing too major, just a little bit. And now I'm going to go in and do my winged eyeliner. Pray for me because this is like, no, let me not even have that negative energy in 2020. Let me just say we gonna kill this wing, period. I'm gonna go in and do this winged eyeliner. I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Sharp Line Eyeliner and it's a felt tip. I really love felt tip for It's like, a, this is a felt tip liner I'm doing. <clears throat> so for my winged eyeliner, I'll be using the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in Black is Black. This is the sharpest line and it is a felt tip, which is my favorite to do my winged liners with. So, wish me luck. Okay, so now on to the lashes. So I always glue my lashes. So this is just a little tip. This is my favorite place to put my lashes inside of my compacts. And literally, I just put them under here. And you know, I'm more than likely to lose my lashes before I lose my compacts. So that's why I like to put them in there. So when I put on my lashes, I like to use bold hold glue. Yes, you heard it here first. Or probably not, but I like to use boho glue on my lashes. So these lashes are from I Envy. These are 13s, I believe. These are my favorite ever lashes. Let me show you guys how they look. So pretty, right? My faves. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes. Now I'm gonna go in and just use some mascara. I'll be using the Maybelline Great Lash. And I just got this. I just picked this up from literally like, I think Walgreens. And I'm just gonna use this to do my upper and then bottom lashes. Now on to my favorite part, the lips. I love, love, love doing my lips. I don't know why I'm obsessed with my lips. I really wanna get my lips done, like, I don't know. Do y'all think I should get my lips done? Comment down below and let me know if I should get my lips done. Some people say I shouldn't, some people say I should, but I think I really wanna get them done. So I'll be going in and just first aligning my lips with this NYX. This NYX pencil, and this is the color Cappuccino. And I'll just be using this to just. And so I'll call this the Kim Possible lip, but I really like to make my full top lip brown almost. Like if you literally look at Kim Possible, her top lip is like brown or something. And then the bottom one is like nude or just like non existent. And then I'll go in a little more on my bottom. So first product I use on my lips, this is the Forever Matte by Ruby Kisses. And this is in the shade Honey Bunny. I just picked this up from my local beauty supply store. It's like a nice, matte liquid lipstick. I love it for my bottom lip. And I'm just gonna go in and just, ooh, my lips are so dry. I just apply a little bit to a center, to the center, I said to a center. I just apply a little bit to the center and now I'm going to go in with 
a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. I'm gonna take a little more. Ladies, moisturize your lips. I forgot to moisturize mine. And then now I'm gonna go in with this. This is the NYX Butter Gloss and this is in Fortune Cookie. It's literally my favorite. But I don't stop there. I like to go back in with some clear gloss. Let me just got it. And this is the Coconut Oil Viva Lip Lip Gloss. I'm sure you guys see these like all around. I really like my lips super shiny for some reason. Okay, probably too much gloss. I literally got too excited with this gloss, you guys. Now on to my highlights. It's like one of the last things I do. So first I like to use this little fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M405 brush and I'm just gonna go back into this palette to go ahead and contour my cheeks. I'll be using this shade right here in the bottom. This is Venus. And I'll just be sweeping that across my cheeks. And then of course we can't forget to highlight this nose and make it look super snatched. So I'll be using this brush. This is the Morphe M431 brush. It's just like a little small pointed brush. And I'll be using Beam and Venus. I'll be using Beam on the tip of my nose. And then I'll be going along the bridge of my nose with the Venus. And then depending on my mood, sometimes I will just put a little bit of this color Mirage right here in the corner of my eyes. Totally depends on my mood. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then just to go in and just set everything, I'll be using my Milani, if I can find it on the floor. My Milani, and this is the Make It Last setting spray from Milani. And I just wanna give myself a few generous spritz of that. I need a fan because I've been using my palette. I didn't drop and throw my palette a few times. And then let me just go in and put a little bit of some powder on my frontal. Just because I'm self-conscious like that. That's my that's like one of my biggest problems. I'm such a perfectionist. I'm just gonna go and put some powder on my frontal. I have so many MAC powders, it don't make no sense.
So let me just go like touch up my hair and uh, put on maybe a different outfit and come back and show you guys the final look. So this is my final look, you guys. Let me know down in the comments below any questions you have about my makeup look. Let me try to redo this because I need to stop looking at the viewfinder. Hi, you guys. Wait. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Welcome. Wait. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video and watching me do my makeup. If you guys have any suggestions or questions, sound off in the comments below and let me know how you guys feel about this look. I will have all my products listed down below as well of everything that I used. And I really enjoyed filming this look for you guys today. I feel so pretty like, you know, like I just don't, uh, I just love it. And then I'm going like literally nowhere but I'll be going outside or probably downstairs to take some pictures for Instagram because why not, you know, literally can't go outside. So I want to get cute for Instagram. But thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Definitely leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And definitely if you are already, join my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Bye.